It's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Lee Cowan. Just what's so funny about comedian Hannah Gatsby? Well, a lot, if you've seen her stand-up routine. But her humor is also leavened with some brutally candid revelations. Here's Luke Burbank. I love being mistaken for a man, because it's just for a few moments, life gets a hell of a lot easier. I'm top shelf normal, king of the humans, I'm a straight white man. Hannah Gadsby's comedy and her way of moving through the world defies easy description. Uh, I don't think even lesbian is the right identity fit for me. I really don't. I may as well come out now. I identify as tired. But it's that unique perspective that has fans lining up to see her new live show, Douglas. She comes at you with comedy, so she, you're all loosened up, and then, boom, she hits you with the reality of it, and you're like, you're, you're crying. I mean, I'm crying just thinking about it. I'm incredibly proud and really humbled. To have such resonance is, is incredible, and I'm, I'm so glad. If you haven't heard of her, that's understandable, too, because she was largely unknown outside her native Australia until just last year. <laughs> Thank you very much. When her Netflix comedy special, oh, Nanette, became an international sensation. I'm in this weird fame world at the moment where famous people, who I don't always know, are coming up to me wanting to meet me. So that is a weird flip. I'm from Tasmania, lovely place, famous for a lot of things, uh, potatoes. The jokes Very. are funny. And uh, our frighteningly small gene pool, that's... <laughs> but the parts where Gadsby explored the pain and trauma of her life riveted the world. And he said, oh, no, I get it. You're a lady, f I'm allowed to beat the s*** out of you. And he did. He beat the out of me and nobody stopped him. I was certainly in a dark place in the year or two before I wrote Nanette. And even though my career was great, and I'm like, this doesn't make sense. I'm, I have success and my, my ability to cope with life is getting worse. How about I just say what I really think and see how that flies. I've built a career out of self-deprecating humour. That's what I've built my career on. And I don't want to do that anymore. Because do you understand? <laughs> do you understand what self-deprecation means when it comes from somebody who already exists in the margins? It's not humility. It's humiliation. I put myself down in order to speak, in order to seek permission to speak. And I simply will not do that anymore, not to myself or anybody who identifies with me. <laughs> and if that means that my comedy career is over, then so be it. The response to her honesty was immense, and her career didn't just take off. Please welcome Anna Gatsby. It rocketed into the stratosphere. For somebody like me, and uh, a nobody from nowhere gets this sweet gig, Free suit, new boots, uh, just because I don't like men. <laughs> just, <laughs> that, just, that's a joke, of course. Uh, just jokes, fellas, calm down. How is your life different now? I mean, it is all odd. This is odd. This is not real, is it? What is this? Who are you? <laughs> Um, There's no sign of things normalizing uh, anytime soon. In fact, last week, Gadsby was nominated for two Emmys for Nanette. And this week, Douglas, which is also her dog's name, opens in New York. A long way from tiny Smithton, Tasmania, where Gadsby grew up, the youngest of five children. There wasn't a, a live comedy scene in Tasmania when I was growing up. You know, if ever it was on the television, a, a comedian that came on. They generally represented two things my mum hated most, and that's men who shouted and men who think they're funny. <laughs> and so she would, uh, she'd just go, I've got news for them, and switch it off. That was, <laughs> that was my introduction to comedy. My name is Hannah. That's, uh, that's a palindrome. Maybe that's why she waited until her late 20s to even try stand-up. 
My entire family have palindromic names. I've got mum. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Nan. <laughs> Bop. I really felt comfortable straight away. As soon as I got my first laugh, I'm like, I get this. And my brother, kayak. <laughs> I'm much better at that than I am at this. OK. Um, you know, or even just normal chat with just normal people who I know. We'd love to show you clips from Gadsby's new comedy special. Cell phones, please. But Netflix has that under lock and key. So we got the next best thing. I walk on stage. People are clapping like idiots. <laughs> so I move the microphone over here a bit further, but generally, then I take it out, and then that's my stage. That's fascinating. I would have never known you were doing that last yes. night. Yes, you'll notice I have a cup on there, and I pat it a lot yeah. for some reason. Yeah, are you checking the temperature of the tea? No, it's got a picture of my dog on it, so I'm just like, hey, <laughs> just giving you a pat. Literally, that's a scoop. Um. <laughs> is, that a, is that emotionally regulating for you in some yeah. way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the revelations from her new show is that Gadsby is on the autism spectrum. This is welcome to my brain. This is how I see the world, and that's why the world can be really difficult for me to navigate, because every day is a new day. Every room I walk into is a new room, even if it's the same room, because I notice all, all the different things. Was that something that you didn't talk about publicly until this show, or did I just miss that information? No, I didn't talk about it publicly before. Saying this publicly, you know, like this, in the industry that I am doing it in, does make me quite vulnerable. And so that's why I was careful not to really push it out in the world too much. And for those who might think Hannah Gadsby's comedy is a little too serious. I've written a show that is really joyful for me to perform. Um, I really am having a very fun time on stage. There is life after trauma and it is rich and it is it can be joyful.